I just quickly looked at my Instagram and realized I've had quite a few conversations with you sitting in the car. Why is this? I don't know. I quite like it really. Anyway, there's a really good reason today because I've just been and had my Botox done and I've also had the COVID test. I don't know about you, but I was one of these people who, uh, round about Christmas, just after Christmas for me, I had this horrific flu. I mean, I honestly, I thought I was going to die. Um, and I've never had flu like that. In fact, I think I've only ever had flu once in my life. Um, and, uh, and I've been wondering if it was COVID that I had, but no, it wasn't. So um, I've had the test. It means now I can put all the results on the COVID app and hope it helps in the, the great picture of things, um, pulling together all the data of how Great Britain has coped and what we actually had and what we didn't. Um, on the Botox France, I've had some, and I, I've never shied, the reason I wanted to mention this actually, because I've never shied away from the fact that I have it done. Um, and, and actually it does work. It really does in, you know, fighting the good fight on aging. Uh, and if you ever want to, if you're thinking, you know, where do I invest? Where do I put my money? I always say in a good haircut, uh, and if you can afford it, have a little bit of Botox because it really does make a difference. Of course, it only makes a difference if the syringe is in the hands of somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, I use uh, a gentleman in Kew called Dr. Andrew Weber, um, but I'm sure there's somebody obviously near you. Um, always go by a friend's recommendation. And if you ever see anybody with those weird eyebrows that let us to go up like that, keep well away from whoever did that because you definitely don't want that sort of frozen unnatural look. Um, but it, it, you know, it, it does make a difference. And because I started 20 years ago, I have arrested some of the lines that most definitely would have formed. And there's no cream in the land that can fix those and sort those sort of things out. What lockdown has taught me is that, you know, facials are lovely. Um, you know, they're a great indulgence and it makes you feel nice. And of course that has a place in our beauty routine. Um, but if you want to invest something that actually makes a difference and a real difference, then definitely I would, um, I would always pop a bit of Botox in. Um, so that's my little conversation today. I've got a few other things I needed to mention to you. Oh, I found this great pair of sunglasses. <laughs> I found these sunglasses. I'm going to put, look, they are really cool. Don't you think that, God, I do move around from subject to subject. Don't you think that sometimes, um, I always think that glasses, designer sunglasses are a huge ripoff. They really are. They could have never cost that much to make. Um, and I always end up taking the lenses out in any case and putting prescription lenses in because I'm short sighted. So um, anyway, I found these glasses and I thought, well, those look really nice. And I was waiting to think how much are these going to cost? £28. Off the top of my head, I can't remember the manufacturer. Um, it is written on there, but can't read it because I need another pair of glasses to read it uh, but I'm going to put it on my um, on this Instagram post and tell you who it is and I know that they're a Danish company and you go onto their Instagram and it's all in Corona but don't worry just it's a lot here I don't know what the conversion rate is but these are 28 pounds and all the, the prices are all the similar uh, but they are really take it from me they are really really good quality so you don't feel so bad if you lose them because we all lose sunglasses. But of course, Sod's Law says that I can, I won't lose the cheap pair, will I? I will only ever use, lose the expensive pair. So, um, so chats in my car, you've had that one now. So we've gone through Botox, COVID tests and um, sunglasses. Um, and I've got a few more things actually that I do need to get around to sharing with you. And I will do that as soon as I can. Anyway, here's enough and speak to you soon.